This is Bempton Cliffs where over 200,000 birds are nesting. In this video I'm going to show you puffins, guillemots, razorbills, kittiwakes, formers and of course gannets. As you approach the cliffs here, the first sign of the masses of breeding birds is the smell. If you've got smelly vision, turn down the smellometer. Here they come. The sheer number of birds at Benton Cliffs is mind blowing. For a distance of about three miles, the cliffs are stacked with a variety of seabirds nesting side by side, sometimes cohabiting peacefully but at other times less so. This congestion on the cliffs beggars the question, why not nest somewhere else? Using cliffs for nesting makes eggs and chicks inaccessible to most predators. However, some birds do pose a threat, including gulls, and they will predate eggs and even nestlings. To protect the chicks from predators, cliff nesting birds like these razorbills display a high level of parental care taking turns to look after their young, while the other hunts for fish. Before it's time for changeover. Razorbill is one of three species of orc that breed at Bempton Cliffs. with the other two species being Atlantic Puffin and Common Guillemot. Razorbills are named for their serrated bill, which is indeed reminiscent of a razor. These are really tough birds, with a very high survival rate and have been known to live up to 40 years. Razorbills are found across the North Atlantic, with an estimated population of over a million birds, and although they are declining in some places, they are on the increase at Bempton. To the uninitiated, Guillemot looks like a penguin. Indeed, when I saw my first Guillemot as a youngster, I got very excited and I told my dad I could see a penguin. Guillemots, along with the other orcs, for the similar ecological niche in the northern hemisphere as penguins do in the southern. Guillemots are one of the most numerous breeding birds at Bempton Cliffs, forming vast lunaries. That's the name given to colonies of orcs. One of the big attractions at Bempton are the puffins. They're smaller than the other nesting seabirds and they're less numerous too, but there's still plenty of them to enjoy. If you don't like puffins, you need your head testing. An old folk name for the puffin is sea parrot, and from one look at its amazing bill, it is easy to see why. The bright colours of the puffin's bill help to make them more attractive to each other. And recent studies suggest that the bill plays a role in internal heat regulation after the exertion of flight. While similar species make a nest on cliff ledges, puffins nest in burrows on grassy cliff tops or within rocky crevices. Puffins choose these burrows to protect their chicks from predators like this herring gull. Although eating pufflings might sound cruel, the gulls have their own chicks to care for. Although you could be forgiven for mistaking it for a gull, another of Bempton's nesting birds is worth a closer look. Northern Fulma. Fulmars share the same general colour as most gulls, but a closer look reveals a different shape in flight and a very different bill structure. This bill structure is one that fulmers share with shearwaters and petrels, their closest relatives. Another of the key cliff nesting species at Bempton Cliffs is indeed a species of gull. The elegant black-legged kittiwake. 
The sound of noisy kittiwakes dominates the cliffs, but sadly their numbers are in decline. It's believed that their decline is linked to the overfishing of sand eels, which forms the main food of kittiwake chicks. And climate change may be pushing sand eel stocks further north. For now though, the cliffs still echo to the call of the kittiwake, a call which gives the bird its name. It's not all about seabirds at Bempton. There are other species to see too, including tree sparrows. Uncommon in much of Britain, there is a thriving colony here. Feeders near the visitor centre attract a lot of commoner birds, which are nice to see at close range and provide some nice opportunities to take photos. Back on the cliffs, perhaps the most impressive birds are the gannets. With a colony of over 12,000 pairs and growing, these magnificent birds are impossible to ignore, and in a world where so many birds are in decline, the success of northern gannets is a good news story. Gannets can travel long distances to catch fish to feed their young. This and their adaptability to feeding on a wide variety of fish may explain why the population has grown rapidly at Bempton. However, the colony here is dwarfed by the 75,000 plus pairs that nest at Bass Rock in Scotland. With a wingspan of up to two meters, northern gannets are a spectacular sight when they're in flight. And when they are playing on updrafts, it creates a real birding spectacle, just a few metres away from anyone watching from the cliff tops. You can learn more about gannets by watching the video in the bottom left, or razorbill courtship on the right.